Hi everybody, this is Intuitive Edge. Welcome once again to my channel. Thanks for joining me. It's time to take a look at our week ahead. Now, I've shuffled up the cards, I've written out a spread, and sometimes when I do my week ahead, I don't always do it the same way. Sometimes I kind of follow a script. This week, it's game on to something new and something different. I'm not following a script that I usually follow. This is all new. So what I did was I wrote out a spread. We're going to be looking at, um, I felt guided intuitively that this week coming up, August 23rd through the 29th, and again, sometimes it's not all about the seven day window, okay? Sometimes my week ahead could spill into the next couple of weeks. Just keep that in mind, okay? So, but what we have coming up is three major issues, three major things we're gonna be seeing playing out in the news, okay? And there are three major areas of focus, okay? So what I did was I drew three cards on each of those three areas. We're gonna be looking at what actions are gonna be being taken, what we might be seeing playing out, and uh, what we might be seeing unfolding in the news. Now, the first card out, one of the major issues that we're going to be seeing this week, we have the justice card. Now, justice, justice, fairness. Now, this doesn't always mean that justice is being served. Sometimes what this card indicates is that there is an appeal for justice. This is a card about of the courts. This is a card of judges, magistrates, uh, bringing your petition, uh, lawsuits, anything like that. This is going to be something that's big this, this week, playing out, coming up. Lawsuits, okay? Now, this is seeking justice. It is a major arcana, which is means it carries a lot of weight in the reading. So this is going to be a big issue this week. So look for justice, lawsuits, that kind of thing. The next major issue unfolding this week is in the area of our emotions. We have the Ace of Cups. This is a card of new beginnings. Aces are new beginnings. And cups are, are our emotions and the energy that we are putting out into the world, okay, collectively. So, uh, and I'll get into what each of these areas has coming up, but I'm gonna show you the first three major areas. So that's the second major area is our collective emotions, all right. Now, the next card is the Nine of Pentacles. Now, this is a card of seeing something fulfilled. This is a card of fulfillment, abundance, uh, and so we may see something along those lines as well. The other cards will tell the story, so let me get into that, okay. Now, for the justice line, there's three cards out. When I was writing this spread, uh, before any cards came out, I was writing down what energies I was feeling coming in for each of these areas. And for the first tier, I will call it, the justice tier, uh, what should be done? What action needs to be taken? And what do we need to do? Okay, this is the energy of that that's coming under the justice card. Um, I felt connection with the earth, uh, the element the earth element and the color green, which is symbolic of being rooted and grounded in the earth and also moving forward. So what should be done? What action needs to be taken? Now we have the seven of swords on that. So related somehow to the justice card, this is a card about kind of getting your hand, uh, getting the upper hand over a tricky situation. Um, you can't just rush in and bowl people over and conquer. Uh, you have to kind of use diplomacy, tact, negotiation, um, and really uh, this is about the art of the deal, 
okay? Making deals, negotiating. That's gonna be pivotal in maintaining or bringing about a just resolution. So this is about letting cooler heads prevail, uh, not going in with guns a-blazing, but going in with a mind to negotiate and to steer things in a more positive and constructive way. Because this first tier, um, I'm sensing some energy that is, is very volatile, that wants to um, possibly erupt, okay? Eruptions could be happening this week. Maybe geographically, maybe literally in the earth erupting, but also it could be skirmishes, could be wars, battles, fighting, infighting. These are the things that demand justice, okay? This is, this is a volatile time that we're entering, and it's going to really need cooler heads to prevail, okay? Now, the third card on this is now the okay first of all let me tell you when i wrote down the spread it was what i was sensing was marches armies uh woes w-o-e woes okay uh things to be aware of a caution and i got the color black associated with it okay that could be negative negativity it could be uh perhaps a, a flag that is black uh, kind of what I was sensing there. Now, the card I get with this is the Tower card. Now, this is a card of upheaval, the energy of destruction. And so we've got that on the, on the tail end of this tier. So justice, needing cooler heads to prevail, but we've got that Tower card that wants to devolve everything and, and blow everything up, okay? So... Hopefully not literally, all right? So this is the energy of that. This is what we need to be aware of. This is a major theme coming up, all right? So just know that that's this tier. Now, don't lose hope because this was kind of like crazy wow, right? A lot going on. The second tier with the emotions, how we're going to be feeling, how we're going to be responding, what's going to be taking place emotionally with people may or may not be related to this thing over here. It might, but, um, but there's other things at play too. I felt like these areas are separate in some ways. They may be related to each other, the justice, the emotions, and that fulfillment. But let's see how this second tier ends up. All right, so the first card out, as I showed you, was this Ace of Cups. New beginnings, emotions, offerings, things of that nature. The second card on this tier. Now, this is interesting because I laid out nine cards, three, three, and three, and I'm reading them down this way, okay? The, the second card on the second tier is the middle card of the entire spread. This is the sun card coming out. Now the sun card is a major arcana. It's very positive. So we have, and what I wrote down with this sun card is um, the, actually got the color blue. Um, I felt like emotions coming out, how we feel, what we're going to be sensing, what we're going to be hoping for and wanting and desiring, and to see this sun coming out. This, I think, is also related because it's kitty corner from the Justice card and the way I have the cards laid out, um, that there may be some hope coming out perhaps related to that Justice card wanting to see a better outcome, hoping for a brighter future and a better outcome. Now with that, the next card is on the topic of established order, process, resolution, higher mind and authority. So this is what it's going to take to bring about this better result, this sun card that we're wanting to see brighten the future for this week. We've got the eight, eight of pentacles. This is a card of putting your, 
putting your work clothes on, getting down to brass tacks, getting to work, doing what needs to be done. And this is what is going to be happening in some level related to how it's going to make people feel is there is some order that's being established, some resolution that is coming, and some type of authority that's going to be put in place. So in other words, we're going to be working toward a resolution this week. It's going to be an emotional week, okay? So just be aware that collectively, there's going to be a wide range of emotions. Everything from the maybe the negative emotions of perhaps despair to elation and joy, okay? There's gonna be everything in between. It's going to be a difficult week emotionally because the roller coaster effect of emotions is going to be at play. It's going to be a, uh, it's going to vacillate between despair and elation. A, a real emotional roller coaster this week. Overall, we have the sun on it. So I think as we focus on the good and what we want to see in the world and what we want to create, it's going to help that. And as we cooler heads prevail, going back to this other tier, if we can have cooler heads prevail and not lose our bleep, we're, we'll be better off and we'll be able to ride this roller coaster uh, through to the end. But just hang on to your hats emotionally this week, okay? Next, the third tier. Now, I showed you this card at the beginning, the Nine of Pentacles, the card of abundance and fulfillment. How nice is that? Now, what I wrote out for this before I laid the cards out, what I was sensing is the color yellow. Um, I was getting vigils, petitions, prayers. Um, I got the air sign associated with this. I got invocations, gatherings, rallies, causes, okay? So we may see a lot of that this week. Um, there's going to be possibly people motivated to get out and let their voice be heard. Um, joining causes, going to rallies, um, people maybe marching, holding signs on a street corner, banding together in solidarity with one another, um, locking elbows and, and standing together. It's going to bring people together. Okay, that is actually a positive thing. So let your voices be heard this week. Let your prayers be offered up this week. Uh, let your petitions and your invocations be sent up this week, if that's what you wanna do. There is good that will come of it. And perhaps it's simply bonding with your neighbor again. Maybe saying, saying no to tyranny and standing with one another, standing up for one another and knowing that where one of us goes, all of us goes. If it happens to you, it happens to me. And we recognize that every person we see is a reflection of ourselves. So get out there and join with your neighbors this week if you're so inclined, okay? There's energy that's positive on that. Next in that tier is the complete, oh, let me show you that card real quick. <laughs> Getting ahead of myself. We have the Ace of Swords. This is a card of the air sign. This is a card about new beginnings in communication. And so I think that goes right along with the petitions, the prayers, the talking, the social media, the networking with others, okay? That's what that card represents. Now the last card on this is what I wrote out is completion, motivation, endurance, compassion, divine order. Okay. This we have the Knight of Cups. Now 
The Knight of Cups is a card of an offering being made. So with this card of petitions and invocations, and then the card of an offering being made as a completion, I think there's going to be a reciprocal action, perhaps from the divine, that will come in the form of assistance, help, um, answered prayer, okay? So that, I think, is a positive thing. As we petition our governments, perhaps, for redress of grievance, uh, there is something good that may come of it. Now, there's lots going on in the world, as you well know, if you're paying attention at all. <laughs> you know there's a lot going on. There's all kinds of different countries and people rebelling, people taking to the streets. Um, so I expect that to continue. But also with this card on the outcome, that there, I think the people's voices will not be silenced this week. And we may get enough people putting their energy out that they will have to be heard. Um, so with this card of an offer, an offer being accepted perhaps, an offer being given, uh, don't be afraid to put that energy out there because there is something that is going to be well received and rewarded. So just remember the corner of this major thing is justice, our energy and what we're putting out in the form of what we want to see manifest and happening in the world and how it affects us emotionally in terms of our material security this week and our stability. So this is going to be a wild week I do anticipate, uh, and although there may be some difficulties, there will also be some joys and some highlights. So don't despair if you see something challenging or difficult, sad, uh, terrifying, whatever. Just try to maintain your balance, keep a cool head, because there are good things happening too. So that's the message I want to get out this week. And just remember, we have the sun coming out in the center of the entire spread. In the middle of the week, we've got the sun shining. So just know that humanity is strong. We are rising as we come together and honor one another and learn to love one another and to leave behind this difficulty, this negativity that's wanting to come through and erupt in a negative way, okay? So there's lots of things at play this week. It all depends on you, your reaction, and your action that you take it's up to all of us how we respond to these things. If we see something terrible, we have to know that that's not the whole story, that there are good things balancing it out. And to hold an even keel, if we can, and to not swing <laughs> so high and then swing so low. Try to keep an even keel this week as we navigate the roller coaster that we're going to be on this week. It can either be terrifying or it can be a thrilling amusement ride. It's your choice. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching. This is our week ahead. Hang tight and we'll catch you next time. This has been Intuitive Edge. Bye for now.